Hi, Earth Sign Men, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do a video for the star signs of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this is for the men in the world and who are subscribers to my channel, potentially. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, and I do apologize that I've been a miss or MIA. That's because I've been hella busy working my ass off trying to get my coins up. Because I got a lot of shit to do, and I want to do a whole lot of things with this channel and with my soul family. You guys are my soul family, so in order for me to do what I came here to do, I got to stay on top of my game. I've been out due to a heavy work schedule. It's been tearing me a new one, but, you know, I'm back on, on the job, working hard to get it back on track. Generally, this is something that I put on my Instagram and my Facebook page, but being the fact that I have been gone for so long, I have started putting it here on my YouTube channel. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it because I'm um, in a position now where I can do my readings daily again, which is a blessing. Because this is what it's supposed to be about. As a life worker, I'm supposed to be able to you know, hit my mission goal. And that is to do daily readings and keep everyone informed. That is here for awakenings, um, ascensions. And just to find out what's going on in your day-to-day -day life and see if it resonates and we can assist you here. So, let me go ahead and get a couple of quick disclaimers out. Um, I don't read like any other reader on YouTube. I cuss in my videos and I talk a lot of shit in my videos. So, if these things offend you, please click off now, okay? Because I'm not the reader for you. And that's cool. I'm not get that. I understand. Everybody ain't for everybody, okay? So, in the meantime, between time... No Jits Allowed, a.k.a. Kids, on my channel. Also, um, as we know, energy is fluid. So this could be past, present, or future energies. What may not resonate today may resonate, you know, maybe a couple of weeks down the road, a couple of days, you know, nine hours from now, three months from now. So take what resonates, what doesn't. Just disregard it. It wasn't meant for you, okay? Or it may not have been meant for you at that time. But also, um, this is for entertainment purposes only, so please don't make no life-changing decisions based off of a general collective reading. Come see me for a private reading. We can talk about it from there, okay? Also, um, anything that you need to know about my channel and me will be listed in the description box below your video, okay? So we're going to go ahead. I think I pretty much clarified everything that I need to state in order to get started. But, oh, my bad. I'd like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all the new ones. And let's begin, guys. So I'm looking at strength, completion. Second chakra, um, door to value, door to romance, passion, and nurture. So some of you have had to go have a lot of strength to climb this mountain that you are going through or experiencing at this particular time. And as the full moon came through, it was a completion for you in a cycle of some things that you have been experiencing in your life, gentlemen. Also, you have the door to romance. So your sacral chakra is your second chakra that needs healing. Some of you might be um, too hyperly active with your sacral chakra, so it is causing addictions. And for those of you that are, um, your chakra is not active enough, um, it could be causing other issues. So you can look these things up and start working on meditating to heal your second chakra, which is your sexual chakra, okay? This um, covers a lot of information. 
and I don't have it all written down and I'm still, you know, digesting a lot of information. As a light worker, there's a lot of information to digest in order to deliver these messages, but I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and I'm still expanding, okay, like the world. So you got money coming through. You got money coming through. So, you know, a little romance with some finances. You can get that romance because that door to value going to open that door to romance for you. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, males. So nurture yourself. Archangel Gabriel says, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important to you right now. So if you gentlemen have children or around children, get out, toss the ball with them, throw a frisbee, fly a kite, do something interesting, do something fun. It doesn't take a whole lot and it doesn't cost a whole lot to get out and play in the park with your kid. Or if you, you know, don't have any children, you know, spend some time with some family and friends, volunteer your time and service. And spend it with some children because as you spend time with your ch with children and, you know, make life happy for them, you heal your own inner child as well. And it is very healing. Trust me when I tell you. And you have passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So as your money increases, boom, boom, boom. These two things coincide with one another. Daughter romance, passion. Love, life, and career. So just some things need tweaking and healing. That's all. That's all, soul family. That's all you got going on. It just needs some healing. You've had a lot of strength to get through this. All of you haven't completed it, but you're still working on it. So as long as you're a work in progress and you're doing the active things that it takes to heal these things so you can move forward to the next stage of your journey, that's all that matters, right? It's when you're not doing the work and you have expectations I don't know what to tell you from there. That's between you and God or whatever you believe in. So let's go ahead, gentlemen, and get your reading popping. Okay. So males, sun signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Venus, north node, south node. Look how y'all popped up in your own shit. Looking good. Financially stable, wealthy, abundant. Some of you could be married, doesn't have to be. Some of you could be in long-term committed relationships, does not have to be. But you are looking like king that you should. Your money looks stable. Your lifestyle looks abundant. Your social peers look up to you. They come to you for sound judgment and advice. You could be starting your own business or you already have your own business. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus. God damn y'all working. Look at this. Y'all getting them pentacles up there. Y'all are mastering the shit out of some stuff, fellas. What y'all got going on? Give up the secret sauce. Come on now. Don't be stingy. Share, share, share alike. But y'all doing good. You working hella hard to master them finances. You getting them up too. So... Y'all are using your analytical side. As the Queen of Swords, or you could be looking at a Queen of Swords, but she wants truth and clarity in a situation. This could be either you or her or them, male or female. Could be same-sex relationship, take it how it resonates. But somebody wants truth and clarity in a situation. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Yeah, she wants truth and clarity about what you've been up to. Seems like somebody been a little deceptive. Or this could be you showing up in a situation asking. But I think you would rather show up as the King of Swords. But it doesn't matter. Because the Queen of Swords is just like her husband. She wants truth and clarity. You know, straight no chase the wing with the bullshit, okay? So ain't nothing changed. It's just a card, okay? Same energies apply. When the Queen of Short Swords shows up, she's just as logical as her husband. She ain't with the bullshit. She ain't down with the fuckery. And them Seven of Swords, that's fuckery all day. That's lies, deceit, betrayal, heartbreak, all that fuck shit. Okay? All right. Earth sign men. You celebrating something? You want reconciliation in a situation? Or are you in a third party, a third party situation or all of the above? I don't know. You tell me. Earth signs. Could you have 
uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, Cafe Astrology is in there. I'm a listed, so you can go check it and find out who the fuck you are, for real, for real. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody has either got your ass in a third party situation, or you them, or either there's a celebration. But with that Seven of Swords up there, mm, I don't know. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Male, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus. You're finding a lot of strength to do some work to level up. You could be leveling up in your finances. You could be leveling up just point blank, period. And you're finding the strength to do it. Or either you work, you work with a Leo or you got Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with a Leo at work. I'm just saying. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus. This could be why the Queen of Swords might be your woman, your wife, or your main chick is asking you about this side chick. Mm -hmm. And she has been illuminated that there's some fuckery amiss, either you or her. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Something in the milk ain't clean, and that heifer, she telling you right off the bat, nigga, I smell fuckery. What's up? Sun, moon, rising. What you got going on? Yeah, this showed up before for earth signs. I can't remember which one, but that showed up. That same combination showed up in my fucking reading for the earth signs. All right? And at the bottom of the deck, you looking at some shit. Either you or her, <laughs> whoever, somebody looking at some shit and they want, <laughs> they deciding whether or not, hmm, I don't know, we're going to find out. But somebody is feeling overwhelmed, burdened, and they're feeling strife and stress in the situation, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you or them or both. Something ain't right. Somebody going a little cray cray over here. I think one of y'all dealing with a crazy main chick or either that's your side chick. I don't know. Which one is your main chick, boo? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus. Bow. You got the world. So you're going through completions of cycles. Somebody either dealing with an Aquarius or got Aquarius in their chart. Or either you got a wish or you hoping some shit will change. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we got a thought card. Somebody thotting through town. Find out who. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Male, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and Venus. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, I made a choice, and the world is mine. So, hmm. And guess what? Judgment got called upon that shit, too. Wow, fellas. Woo, look at y'all. Judgment and karma. So this is a karmic lesson, fellas. Virgo, one of your homeboys is here, or your homegirls. Somebody snatched a star from up out of the sky, threw it in that lantern, detached themselves from the situation to go within and get some truth and clarity and guidance in the situation. Somebody went through a death and rebirth. Somebody might be going through a spiritual awakening because you're in a karmic lesson that is up for judgment. So, you're being called to judgment about some shit, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And you want to get the hell on from that shit. Because that's, uh, that's water energy. That's cancer. So, you want to move swiftly from a situation. Maybe you want to get out of your sh shadow side and go to the light side and balance this shit out. I don't know. Let's go forward, gentlemen. Sun, moon, rising. Mercury, Venus. Yeah. You working hard as fuck. You involved with a soulmate from your past too, but this could be something from your past. Maybe you could be paying child support on some kids that you made in the past. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Male, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node. Could be with this Leo. Paying child support, gentlemen. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there go the miss. There go the mister. So looks like maybe somebody is ready to cut something out either you or them this leo could be cutting your ass out of a situation because they're not getting what they want or vice versa or you could be showing up now as the king of swords to cut this shit off so you can shut the missus up 
or shut her down because somebody wants wish fulfillment and somebody's been drinking. And they speak rudely and crassly too when they get a little tipsy, a little tight. I don't know what you've been smoking on, but okay. But see what it's bringing? Heartbreak, betrayal to the 10th power <laughs> right behind it. Look at your shit. Look at your shit. What y'all got going on? It ain't nothing but swords. This is conflict to the... Oh, oh shit. This is conflict to the highest. To nine. Anything is missing is a damn seven. Shit. I ain't even getting into that one. We gonna roll on, fellas. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node. That's some straight fuckery, yo. And down at the bottom, it's still coming up as the Ace of Swords. When I spread that shit all the way down, the only thing was missing was the damn Seven of Swords. So y'all just got pure conflict and fucking drama. God damn. Yeah. This ain't no victory. Somebody wants a victory. Somebody's standing their ground to get it. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Somebody wants somebody to take action about a message and an offer. I don't know if that's going to happen either. Mm -mm. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, and Venus. Yeah, you detach from a situation because you know she, mama wasn't playing that shit. Not to mention, you got popped in the head. Spiritual awakening card right there. You had to walk away from a situation. Either you or the missus, take your pick. Yeah, somebody felt guarded, defensive in a situation. Somebody hurt. Yeah, they wounded in a situation. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, and Venus, north node, south node. Ooh, juggler. <laughs> yeah, you was doing the damn thing, wasn't you? <laughs> somebody got caught up. Somebody was, all, somebody was all in their feelings. Somebody was in love, but somebody rejected somebody's love, caused somebody to feel heartbreak. Somebody's ashamed, too, of the actions, their actions, what it caused, the outcome. You're feeling regret and loss now because you might be losing what you think. Mm, let me say it like this. You're feeling like what you love, you're losing. Yeah, soulmate. Your soulmate. For some of you, you might even be fucking with a twin. Yeah, you thought you had a lot of options. Somebody popped up and made a baby. Love child. Boom, Capricorn, nah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, somebody was in a committed relationship. Now it's a breakup. Yeah, you're going to court about this shit. <laughs> you need some balance. You're trying to manifest some shit. That might be why you're trying to level up. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, <laughs> Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node. I ain't laughing at y'all guys. Ooh, wow. I just called twins and here it go. The divine is in the house. Yeah, there's been some burdens and some strife in this shit. Father divine is stepping into your situation because this shit is hella karmic. All of them goddamn swords that I just saw, mm -mm, I ain't, you ain't finna cut my ass. Fuck you. Pay me. Come see me. Shit. There go Father Divine, the spiritual awakening. You detach him from the situation. The world card done forced your ass out. The only thing we missing over here is the goddamn tower card. This is Pisces energy too. So y'all could be really getting that. Uh, you could be re uh, receiving synchronicities, um, telepathic messages. Um, you could be getting a lot of um, different psychic uh phenomena that's happening to you that you probably are not used to dealing with but i'm sure some of you are intuitive more than you give yourself credit for or you haven't tapped into it but um spirit is nudging your ass and telling you nigga look four 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 three 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 that type shit i know you seeing it so <coughs> <coughs> and some of you don't want to admit your truth. Don't have me choked up over here. I ain't got that damn problem. Also, some of y'all need to take charge of your goddamn situation. And either an emperor is about to step in and do it for you. So I don't know who's got Aries in their chart or Taurus. Because this is Aries primarily for me. More so than it is Taurus. But they say Taurus as well. So we're going to throw Taurus in there. Because y'all earth signs, you dig? But... Under the circumstances, I'm smelling that 
it's time for somebody to take charge of a situation. And that's what an emperor does. That's a wise and stern person. Doesn't have to be an older person, but it can be. It can be male or female. Don't matter. Because whoever is the boss is going to show up as the boss. And they're going to handle that shit like a boss. They're going to take charge of a situation and do what it do. You may like it. You may not. But somebody has been hiding some things. Somebody is blocking their heart chakra. You could be hiding a little chump change, a little... Well, it ain't no chump change from what I'm hearing, but you hiding some shit. Yeah, somebody got to change, make some changes. Somebody might be moving. Somebody might need to get a new car. Somebody might even need a new job. Yeah, you got left out in the cold. You and your feelings about this shit. You could be fucking with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that broke your fucking heart. Now you getting truth and clarity in a situation and made your ass take a break. Because you got your ass whooped. It's called defeat. Smell it. You don't like it. That's because you didn't see shit clearly. And now you had to move forward. Either you or them. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Because somebody feeling trapped and stuck in a situation that they don't want. And it's leaving them in, them in their heads like crazy. You having sleepless nights. You pacing the fucking floors. That's probably why you drinking and smoking and shit. Yeah, all behind heartbreak, lies, and betrayal. Mm-hmm. And immature communication. And you're spying. Either you or them. One of the two. Yeah, this is the drinking card. Yeah, drink up. Don't do it. But you gonna do it. So let me go ahead and put some oracle messages on your reading, gentlemen. I talked to y'all for some long, so I got the finger. But this shit is homemade. Work with sister. Everybody had to start from somewhere to become great. All right, let's put these uh, Earth Magic Oracle cards on the reading. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. South Node. Yeah, veiled. Something was hidden, like I said before. Ain't nothing changed. That shit got illuminated. And yeah, and it was a breach. Somebody breached the shit and told the story. <laughs> you was trying to keep it a secret, either you or them. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Door to Spirit. Didn't I tell you somebody was getting their motherfucking skull cracked? Awakening. And you know why this shit is showing up? Because somebody is motherfucking envious and jealous, either you or or them, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, males, because you're being gifted, and you are, you might be fighting your uh, awakening, but you go, the door to spirit is open, you're going to walk your ass through it, or you're going to pay a price that you don't want to pay, trust and believe, I done been there, you don't want that, you want that, you're going to pay, you're going to pay what the fuck you weigh, believe that, Archangel Oracle message coming up, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node, Men, Masculine Energy, Clear Audience, no, Clear Sentience, my bad, you might be getting some Clear Audience as well, but Archangel Raguel, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance, I'm telling y'all, y'all getting y'all motherfucking head cracked, you getting the messages, stop ignoring it, stop acting like you don't understand what the fuck you being told. Teaching and learning. Archangel Zakiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas and th then teach these ideas to others. So, yeah, you you learning. You learning. You about to get your goddamn head wide open with shit you don't want to hear, but you can't stop it. You cannot stop God from talking to you. You cannot stop your ancestors from reaching out to you because they're going to keep coming to you until you get the message, okay? Probably while you're drinking smoking, indulging too much because you're trying to ignore what you don't want to see, but it's meant for you and your highest purpose, my loves. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo men, I'd like to thank y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family and friends, and I will talk to you gentlemen yet again. Y'all take care. Bye-bye for now.